Ned, Gregory called and said, where were you? We were an activist. Where were you 15 years ago when we needed you? You tell Gregory 15 years ago that someone was inviting faggots that have anything to do with you guys. I was 12 years old. We're not activists. If you're not an activist, Bruce, then what are you? Nothing. I'm only in this until it goes away. <laughs> At Glenn Christman's party the other day, uh, my sophomore and I was sick. I went about two more. I, on the way home, I ran into a person who told me you just been diagnosed. Uh, I'm more this organization that might only attract white bread in the middle class. We need blacks. Right on. And how do you feel about lesbians? I don't believe in lesbians. I wonder what people are going to think about all this. In past history, has any guy has ever been much support by either half of us or the other? Tommy, are you a lesbian? I have done and seen everything. <laughs> you have to choose a president tonight. Don't forget, I'm not interested. And what about a board of directors? Mickey, how did you finally decide to say it? I didn't even look. I just said the best medical knowledge, which admittedly isn't very much. It seems to feel that a virus has landed in our community. It could have been any community, but it landed in ours. Boy, are we going to have paranoia problems? That's all you wrote? See what I mean? No, I also put in the benefit dance announcement and a coupon for donations. What about the recommendations? I recommend everyone to donate a million dollars. How are we going to make people realize this is not just a gay problem? If it happens to us, it, it can happen to anybody. Mickey, I thought we talked about this on the phone. We must tell people what Emma wants us to tell them. She wants to tell them so badly she won't lend her name of recommending it. This, this is what Ned wants me to send out. <clears throat> If this doesn't scare the shit out of you and rouse you to action, gay men may have no future here on Earth. Nettie, I think that's a bit much. But scare everybody to death. Shake up. What's wrong with that? This isn't something you need to be forced fed money. Besides, you neglected me my first sentence. It's hard to write this without sounding alarmist or scared. Okay, well, listen to this. <clears throat> I am sick of guys moaning like giving up careless sex until this blows over is worse than death. I am sick of guys who only think what their cost. I am sick of closeted gays. It's 1982 now, guys. When are you going to come out? By 1984, you could be dead. You can't tell people how to live their lives. You can't do that. Besides, the entire gay political platform is fucking. We did it from all sides. You make it sound like that's all the being gay means. That's all it does mean. It's the only thing that makes us different. Well, I don't want to be considered different. Neither do I, actually. Well, I do. Well, you are. He heard about you, he found you, and now here he is. My name is Tommy Boatwright. Why don't you write that down, Tommy Boatwright? In real life, I'm a hospital administrator, and I'm a southern bitch. Welcome to gay politics. Ned, I won't have anything to do with any organization that tells people how to live their lives. I'm not telling them how to live their lives, it's just a recommendation. It's interfering with their civil rights. Fucking as a civil right? Don't we just wish. Look. What if we put the form of recommendation from gay doctors? That way we're just the conduit. I can't get any gay doctor to go on the record and say whatever I wants them to. You know, Ned, I get I mean, not everyone is so free to say what they think. Or we're able to afford so much therapy. Look, it's late and we have elected a president. Ned, I think it should be Bruce. Everyone likes him and knows him, and everyone expects you to. You mean everybody likes him and everyone's afraid of me? Yes. No. No? No. What it means is you have a certain kind of energy that's definitely needed, but Bruce has a, a presence that uh, allows him to lead people in a way you can't. What's that mean? It means he's gorgeous and all the kids on Christopher Street and Fire Island will feel a bit more comfortable following him. Follow him where? Well, honey, how about we have a little dinner and I'll tell you all about it. And more. Mm, thanks. Why, are you busy? Forever? Well, that's too bad. I wanted to try my hand at smoothing out your rough edges. Good luck. I don't think I want this. Well, you're gorgeous and we're all gonna follow you. Fuck you, I accept. Fuck you. Congratulations.